Today I wanted to bring you a little bit of a long-term review of the 2024 Amazon Echo Spot. This is a device I've been using for the past three months. And while I have a lot of the Amazon Echo ecosystem in my apartment, I think this is a really good kind of desk companion or a bedside companion. So I wanna walk you through a little bit of my experience and I'm hoping to get it done in around three minutes for you. The Amazon Echo Spot is a compact speaker. Looking into the body, there's a relatively small screen on the front. This is nothing like the Echo 5 or 8 where you're gonna to wanna to watch video on it. It's rather small and it's just for kind of important information on it. The build quality is generally pretty solid and it's nice, it has the ambient sensor. So in darker scenarios, it will dim automatically or you can control it here with the meter here. And speaking of the display in the app, there are colors that you can kind of customize for the profile of the device. So you can set it to the colors that you like. Now I have it set up for some groups. So when I play it in other places, I keep this one typically in my back office there. And it's, that's what I was saying. It's like a nice little desk companion because it shows me any notifications I need there, or I can look up the weather or ask it some questions and just have the help of the Alexa assistant, which I can also control the lights and shades and anything in my house pretty much like the fan, TVs, etc. The screen is generally pretty good. If you get kind of close to it, it's pixelated. But like I said, if you're leaving it at your normal viewing distance, you're not gonna really be able to see those. But it has good contrast. It's not an OLED, I don't think, but it does get near OLED level blacks. The contrast is quite good in general. And then for the sound quality, like I was mentioning, I think it sounds pretty similar to the Echo Dot Gen 5. I can't really give you any sound demos because I think I'll get a copyright claim. But in the app, I do recommend using the EQ. And like I'll show you here, turning the bass up a little bit, the mids down a good amount, and the treble down a little bit to have a more balanced profile for the actual speaker. But the sound in general, I'd say, is impressive for the overall size. Now, in terms of the value for money, it's typically 80 bucks. I think right now on Prime Day, this is the first day of Prime Day, it's about 45, which is a good deal for something that packs this much technology in a small portable package. So you can check those links below if you wanna see the updated prices for this, but it will go on sale every Prime Day pretty much. And now that we're approaching the holidays, you'll probably see it on sale pretty regularly there. If you wanna check out my favorite kitchen companion, the Echo Show 15, I also did a review about that. You can check that out here if you wanna see that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.